Hello students, today we are starting a new chapter for class 10th, Human Eye and Colorful World. In this video, we will learn about the structure and working of the eyes. There are five sensory organs in a human being, touch, taste, sight, smell and sound. Out of these, human eye is the most valuable and sensitive sense organ. It enables us to see the wonderful world and the colors around us and we will study about this in this chapter. Human eye works like a camera. Its main parts are as follows. Cornea which is the first transparent spherical membrane and acts as the first lens for the eye. Most of the refraction happens at this stage. In the figure, if you see, just behind the cornea is the aqueous humor and behind the aqueous humor is the iris. In our eye, that is the most visible part and the color of the eye when we say is because of this color, the blue eye, gray eye is the color of the iris. Pupil is a small hole in the center. It is black colored. And behind this is the eye lens, which is made of the jelly-like material. And this lens is held by the ciliary muscles. Aqueous humor in front and the vitreous humor at the back maintains the shape of the eye. Aqueous humor is a clear liquid region between the cornea and the lens. It nourishes the lens region. Vitreous humor fills the space between the retina and the lens and maintains the shape of the eyeball. The retina is a thin layer of the tissue at the back of the eye that receives the light and image of focused by the lens. It translates this, in, this image into neural signals which are sent to the brain for visual recognition. Blind spot is a point from where the optic nerves leave the eye and optic nerves are the nerves that carry the neural signals formed by the retina to the brain for recognition of the image. Crystalline lens behind the pupil is the main component of the eye. This lens is a cellular converging lens. It is supported by the ciliary muscles from the top and bottom. And these muscles, with the help of the suspensory ligament, are able to change the focal length depending on the distance of the object, as shown in the figure over here. The lens would become thick when the object is close by and would become thin as the object moves further away. This ability of eye to change the shape and its length, focal length, is known as the accommodation. When we see eye, what we basically see is the white portion, what is called sclera, iris and the pupil. Pupil is the central portion of the eye that allows the light rays to pass and focus onto the retina. Iris controls the amount of the light that should enter in the eye depending on the quantum of light available. If it is a dim light situation, the iris would contract and more amount can enter. If it is a bright, the iris would relax and the pupil is shorter. The color of the eye, when we say for a person is a blue or brown, that is basically the color of the iris. After the lens, most important component of the eye is the retina. This retina, which is behind the eye, has many light sensitive cells. These cells are of two types, rods and the cones. Rod cells are sensitive to the dim light and help us to see in dark. And cone cells are sensitive to the bright light and help us in distinguishing the color. So we see the color mainly because of the presence of the cone cells and we are able to see in the dark because of the rod-like cells. 
these rod cells are more developed in the nocturnal animals like owls and cats. Retina accepts the image and converts that into the neural signal. Those neural signals are then passed to the brain through the nerve cells. The retina has yellow spot. That is the point where the most clear image is formed. It also has a place called blind spot where no image is formed and that is the place from where the optic nerve passes and goes to the brain. At last, the two more important terms, near point and the far point. Near point is the minimum distance till which the eye can see clearly and distinctly. Eye lens thickens as the object comes close to it, but it has a limitation and to the point where the maximum accommodation can take place is called the near point for a normal human being that is considered to be approximately 25 centimeters. Far point is the farthest distance which I can see clearly and distinctly. In practical terms, it is an infinite distance, though we cannot see to the infinity, but it is too far off up to what point the human, normal, healthy human eye can see. Thank you very much for watching this video. If you liked it, please subscribe the channel. Thanks again.